Greetings, ghouls. Today we are going to be looking at Painted with Raven, Episode 3, Work of Art. First up, we have Matt, and he is giving us a fun little take on face tattoo. He's got a lawnmower trimming them brows. Lord knows I need that. He has a beekeeper for the earwax, beeswax. Cute. And he's got a little plumber catching them teardrops. I think it was fun. He didn't take it too serious, and I like it. Magic. Next up is Bryce, and he wants you to know that he is proud in what he does. I mean, it's literally right above his eyebrow. It's okay. He's got a rose on one side of his face. He's got a double-sided mask by his neck, showing the masculine and feminine sides. I like that. It's a bit simple, but not bad. Magic. Next up is Taj, and he's giving us a crown with a rose. Now... This is okay, however, Raven asked if this was all done freehand, and he did say that he used, I believe he said stamps for the crown. As soon as he said that, I was like, no, I feel like the artist, I mean, you can use things to help you somewhat, but for something like a creative face tattoo, it's just not cutting it. It's gonna be tragic. Next up, we have Jamon, and he's taking us back to his roots, y'all. He's got Ghana on his head. Her hair is going into the shape of Africa. I think it's a pretty cool idea. I think it looks great and this is magic. Next up is Ryan and she is giving us a story. She's got a hand with some fabulous nails holding a makeup brush. She said how that pulled her out of a rut and essentially saved her. And she's also dedicating this to her mom and she's got the vines going up over her face. She's got store elements of her mom's story. She has an anchor showing that she was in the Navy. She says that she's also part of the LGBTQ plus family. And I think this looks great. Magic. Next up is Yvonne and she is tatted out of her mind. This is what I was expecting when they said face tattoo. Just post Malone realness. She's got lots of words that she says were used against her. I see she's got shame and guilt above her lids. I'm not sure what it says on her lips. Doom, boom, who knows? I think it's fully realized and I think she looks great. Magic. We have guest judge Preston Manessis. He's done makeup for Rihanna, Kim K, and Miss Jackson if you're nasty. For their main looks this episode, each of the artists were given a work of art. They had a fight amongst themselves as to who gets who and they have to do a recreation of that piece of art give us their best take on it. Well girls, it's face time and first up is Jamon and he is giving us a Sesame recreation. Is this giving you apples with wine? For me, not so much. I know he tried to sp spice it up and make it more the shapes not so literal. However, you completely lose what he's going for and Raven said that that wine bottle by his head looked like a fishtail and I agree. And the colors, just to me, it looks a little bit messy. I applaud him for trying to create a basket with the brown toward his chin. I think that's pretty cool. Now, I think what would have helped was if maybe he had the bottle, the shape more cylindrical and like up higher on his head, just to give a more seamless pour. And maybe one of his eyes could have been an apple. Just playing with the shapes to where you can at least tell that it was an apple. For me, I'm not feeling this. This is going to be tragic. Next up is Yvonne, and she is giving us a Kandinsky. I think this looks fantastic. I think the colors are really vibrant. They pop. I love how she played with the shapes. She met the assignment. She looks good. She played with different contours and shades, and this is going to be magic. Next up is Ryan, and I'm excited to see what she has to bring this season. She's giving us her rendition of a Monet, and although it's pretty in the terms of all the colors that she used, to me, it's not fully realized. I like how she did the fish. I like how she gave us some 3D dimension on the sides of her face. But it's just looking a little amateur. If you were to show me this, would I get Monet from it? Not at all. It's going to be tragic. What I think she could have done is completely submerged her face in blue, giving us an underwater fantasy. Maybe put a, if she's trying to give a lily, put a lily pad underneath it. Just give us more water because I think that's what was missing with this. Take us underwater and I think it would have popped. 
all the more. Next up is Taj, and he is giving us his rendition of Hokusai, which is a powerful wave that's coming to crash and snatch all y'all's weaves. I like how he brought it down towards his shirt, but what was missing is him bringing it up over his face, on his forehead. He's got a huge canvas there, why not use it? Now I get that he's wanting to show us some of his drag makeup because he is a drag queen and it is beautiful, but we needed more of that beautiful wave. I like how he created these drops of waters that are dripping off his face. To me, this is giving me half of the painting. It's still an okay rendition. It's gonna get magic, but him bringing that wave up over his forehead, I think would have taken it to the next level. Next up is Bryce, and he is giving us his Van Gogh She Better Do. To me, this is hauntingly beautiful. I like the strokes across his face. Who doesn't love strokes across the face? The lips are looking really nice. I like how he contoured with the black. He's got stones around his face. He is giving us all sorts of techniques, and to me, I think he absolutely nailed this. I would be able to tell that it's Starry Night just from him walking up to me. Now, this is a walking work of art. He did the damn thing. It's gonna be magic. Next up we have Matt, and he is giving us his rendition of Surat. And I like what he did here. I think the colors are, they really pop, and bitch, you know damn well this took him a hot minute. Pointillism, you have to sit there and just poke at your face. I'm sure this was monotonous, and I think the effect is really cool. Is it similar to what he did last week? Yeah, but I think it's different enough that it stands on its own. It's giving me a sexy reptilian. Who doesn't like sexy reptiles? I like this. It's gonna be magic. The top two looks of the episode are going to be Yvonne and Bryce. The most magical look of the episode is going to be Bryce. That starry night, girl, I'm all for it. Take me into your starry night, okay? The bottom two artists of the week are going to be Ryan and Jamon. Both of them failed to bring their renditions to life, and I agree with this placement. For the quick paint challenge this week, each of them have to give us their best ombre lip. Raven chooses Jamon as the winner, and honestly, both of these look messy as fuck to me. Ryan for sure smudged it worse. It looks crazy, but I didn't care for either of these two. That means that Ryan is once again going to be muted, and she only has one point. What's she gonna do? The closing words of inspiration for this episode come from Coco Chanel. If you're sad, put on more lipstick and attack. Here is the scoreboard thus far. For sure, Taj and Yvonne are at the top. Bryce, Matt, and Jamon are pretty much right there behind them. And then Ryan and Jordan. Girl, y'all are in trouble. Is it me or does Matt look like Shawn Mendes here? And Jamon, ooh girl, you looking snatched. Let's see what else Raven has in store for us this season.